Hello and welcome to video number eight in my Game Maker video series. My name's Andrew Woods and I'm really sorry it's been nearly six years since I last did a Game Maker video. I've been busy, what do you want? Um, there's been a few changes in the last six years. Um, you know, iPhones have been invented, Google's now a thing, but also um, I'm now using Game Maker 8 Lite, which I know is out of date, and I should be using Game Maker Studio, which is online. I, you know, I can't keep up, okay? I'm an old man, look at the gray hair, see? Anyway, I'll show you what, I, I, I couldn't find the game that I was using either, but I found a, a copy of it, and I've made some improvements um, over the years, and um, I'll show them to you now. Here we go. So, um, oh, and look, you can see in the background, I had to re-watch video seven, so I knew what I was doing. Um, so, uh, so here's it. Look, I've got jungle walls now. That's just they're just like brick walls, but I've coloured them in green and tried to make it look like trees. So it looks like I'm in the jungle, and I've got zombies still, and I've got bullets that I can pick up to get more ammo, and I can kill the zombies. And uh, oh, trying to play non-existing sound. Uh, so I had a sound when you pick up a coin, um, which I've now obviously broken uh, because it's not there. It should be there, but it's not. Oh, when a coin collides with a hero player sound, which I've now deleted. Anyway, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do score. All right, now the score, I get points in this game, well, when I pick up a coin, but also when I shoot a zombie. When I shoot a zombie, I'm going to give myself 50 points. All right, so where should that be coded then? Well, it happens, you get 50 points when the bullet hits the zombie. So I'm going to put the code in the bullet object. So let's open up this bullet object here. I've got a collision with wall, which destroys the bullet. I've got a collision with the other wall, which destroys the bullet. I've got a collision with the zombie and a collision with the wall brick. So it's this one, the collision with the zombie. I destroy the bullet, I destroy the zombie, and I add on 50 points. Well, look, Game Maker knows you want to do scores in your game. So there's a whole tab here called score, which also has lives and health in it. But look, this one here, set score. All right, set it to 50. <gasps> relative. Yeah? Because if I don't set it as 50 relative, I'll just be setting the score to 50. And every time I shoot a zombie, I get set the score to 50. So the score will go 50, I shoot a zombie, and then it's 50 again. No, no. I set it to 50 relative, which means add 50 on to whatever's already there. So it'll go 50, 100, 150, and so on. Got me? All right, okay. Let's test it. You've always got a test. <laughs> Please ignore this stuff here and ignore this American golf sale. Ah, look, here we go. Right, so I shoot the thing and, and I've got 50 points. And look, it pops up kind of there. Because I haven't told it, oh look, 100 now. I haven't told it to do anything else, so it pops the score there for you. And that's all right, isn't it? not really what I want. Notice this gap I've left here. I've not put walls in here. Um, and this is where I'm going to display my score. It's also where I'm going to display lives as well. Um, but let's do the score first. Uh, if I want to display something, the best way I've found to do it is to create a separate object called display and that object is in charge of displaying all these things that you want to display. It's a bit like the set game object. I'll show you. Um, so I'm going to make a new object and I'm going to call it, well what did I call my other stuff? O underscore. So this is O underscore display. No sprite, it's invisible. What does it do? Add event, draw. It draws things, okay? So what does it draw? It draws my score. And here I have got my uh, draw score box thing and x and y that's the coordinates in the room so zero zero top left that's where my gap is and it's going to say score colon and then your score so that's what the caption is okay okay don't forget to put the display object in the room if you forget it won't work so here's the display object and I may as well put it next to set game it doesn't matter where you put the object because the object has said draw the score at zero zero. So it doesn't matter where you put the object, it will still draw the score in that top left corner, I hope. <laughs> oh yeah, I still got it. It's been six years, but I still got it. Look at that. Huh? Oh. 
Oh, missed, 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 missed. Oh, yeah, you got 150. So that's okay. But it, it's not very interesting. My man's an army man, so I want to make army writing. Yeah? And I want to make it bigger, and I want to make it red. Now, how do you do that? Well, if you want to do that, you've got to actually create a font. If you look here, there's a folder here for fonts, which is obviously empty. So I'm going to click this here, make a new font. I'm going to call it font underscore stencil because the army font is stencil. Stencil. Where is it? There it is. Found it. Um, I'm going to go with size 18. That's pretty good. See, that's like that army, you know, they put the stencil and they, psh, and they spray it on the side of army crates and stuff. So it's army, isn't it? Uh, and I'm going to say OK. Font stencil. So now I'm going to go to my display. And before I draw the score, I'm going to set the font. So if I go to the draw menu here, the draw tab, here's fonts. So I'm going to drop that there. No font. Change it to font stencil. Look, that's the one I just made. A line left is good. And while I'm here, what's this one? Color. Ba-boom, ba-boom. OK. Red is good. So set it to red, set it to stencil, and draw it. OK. OK. Here we go. <sighs> Check that out. Does that need to come down a little bit? Mm, yeah, I reckon it needs to come down like two pixels. So, display, draw the score, Y, two. So it's gone down two pixels. OK, while I'm here, let's do the lives. Uh, so I'm going to go to score, and I'm going to draw lives. It'll take the same font and colour as before. Now, that was down two, wasn't it? Now, how far along have I got to go? Well, I reckon one square is 32 pixels, so two is 64, so four is 128. But I'm going to, st I'm going to do about 158. I've got a hunch. I've practised. 158, so it's 158 pixels across. All right, here we go. Test it. Look at that. That is awesome. Score zero, live three, shoot the zombie, score is now 50, let's die. Oh, look, look at the points going up when I pick up the coins. I'm awesome. Lives two, lives one, game over. Look at that, I did that in fireworks, isn't it awesome? I don't know where I got the zombies from. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Let's just do a quick recap. So when the bullet hits the zombie, you set the score to relative to 50, or however many points you want. And then you create your display object, you set the colour, you set the font by creating a font. You draw the value of the score and you draw the number of lives. And that's it. In the next video, don't hold your breath, but in the next video we will do sounds. Because adding sounds to your game really lifts it and makes it sound like a really cool thing. Or makes it like seem professional. Okay, bye!